When I was five years old, my dad passed on. He left my mom to take care of us. She really worked very hard. When I grew up, I didn't put on shoes. At that time, the feet actually had cracks. My mom couldn't afford to send me to high school. I was lucky because I got the sponsorship. That's the time I wore my first shoe. My journey as an eye doctor began while in medical school. We had this medical camp. About 50% of the 500 people who were there had eye problems. And we didn't have a specialist to deal with that. So I asked the professor why we didn't have an eye specialist. And he said, there are not very many in the country. And we don't know what these people are suffering from. I'm excited today because we are heading to this village to test this new technology that I've been working on. And should the technology prove successful, this will be the beginning of a revolution in eye care. In this community, there are many people going blind from conditions that can be treated or prevented. They go blind needlessly. There has to be a solution. There has to be a different way of getting access to the specialists. There are very few eye doctors. In Kenya at the moment, there are about 100, and about 40% of them are in Nairobi. Most people actually go blind because they have not been reached. There's something we can do about it, and we can change that situation. When I first heard of PIC, Portable Eye Examination Kit, I said I must join this idea. PIC enables the smartphone be used as a diagnostic tool. Somebody with little training can actually use this technology to take the pictures and send it to the doctors and specialists, wherever they are. What is uniting and making all these things possible is the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust. Oh yeah, these guys are amazing. I think whoever came up with the idea, marvelous. I thought we'd probably find four or five people with eye problems. But to my surprise, we've seen 50 to 100 and all have eye problems. Using PIC, we have just identified 10 people that can be treated. And tomorrow, we are going to operate five of them. If you want to eat an elephant, you don't eat alone. You have to eat slowly and with friends. So we have an elephant here called blindness. Slowly by slowly, you build a team, focus them into elimination of blindness. When I began in the hospital, I was alone with one nurse. We were seeing 15 people in outpatient per day. And that year we operated only 98. At the moment, we are seeing now 20,000 people treated from avoidable blindness and operating up to 2,000 in a year. I could not have achieved that without the support of my team, and I'm really proud of them. I've been involved in PIC right from the beginning, and I decided to take this further by doing a PhD. I applied once, twice, thrice, but turned down, but when I applied for the fourth time. The organization that was supporting PIC, the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust, was willing to support and fund my education. When I saw the email, I said, wow. It was one of the most exciting moments in my life. I thank the trust for giving me the opportunity to serve my people. We've done cataract surgery. I'm very happy. I'm also proud of my team. Great, bingo. Tomorrow, we are going to remove bandages off. That will be the beginning of a new life for these patients. When you meet people, and you can see they have a problem and you can solve the problem. And yesterday we had eight 
with cataract. The surgeries all went very well. You know, you've done your best with all your heart, and today was even more joy because whatever you thought was good yesterday was proved today. When the patients share their joy of regaining sight with you, then that is double joy, and I like that. Ah, it's a great feeling. You can never get anywhere else. And if you can get that every week, you can certainly live longer.